how do you prepare yeah. to, to play the Son of God? <laughs> I, I, it's a great question. How do you prepare? Yeah. Um, you know, by fire. Uh, it, it, I was playing it. And looking back, there were two words. It was unquenchable fire. What was hard was the physical. It was the suffering. Makeup time started from 2 in the morning, um, and they went till 10. So that alone right there, the boredom, not just the boredom, the uncomfortable position, you're never sitting down. And so... Um, after day in and day out of this, plus the hyperthermia, plus the, you know, the I had a separated shoulder and whatnot, it forced me to pray. I had to go to a place of s something very deep because I was really going crazy. You said you, you went into prayer. Is, is that something that you believe anyway before, prior to the part? You are a believer? Mm hmm Well, there's no question that I believe, and I think... Many of your viewers know what I'm talking about, that why would you subject yourself to persecution unless you know that's the truth? Let me tell you, I was on that cross, and I, it, many people who looked up there, you know, I may be playing Christ, but a lot of times I felt like Satan because I had obscenities wanting to come out of me and... and uh, uh, it was so cold. Uh, it was like knives coming through you. Uh, hyperthermia. I don't know if you've ever dealt with that. No. One day of hyperthermia, it was so cold I could barely get the lines out. Um, the, 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 my, my mouth was shaking uncontrollably. Uh, my arms and legs went numb. I was suffocating on that cross. So, uh, and in the meantime, you watch people have co coffee and, and uh, you know, laugh, you know. Uh, they were very indifferent about what you're what you're going through. Is that was that true across the board with the no. cast or or with the crew or anything? No, we had very sympathetic people. We had um, people like in all humanity. We had sympathetic people and and uh, indifferent people and um, people that were um, that it, it it repelled them. And and watching that at times, you know, we were watching that. I would want to you know, burst out in my own humanity, you know, tell this guy to shut up or, you know, take off. Which was, um, which was the very opposite of what Jesus did in forgiving his enemies. How, so then at that point then, what, what do you do if you're, if part of my, well, what I'm a, a, a craftsman at is being an actor. Mm -hmm. Where is this place? Mm -hmm. Where does he go? So I had to seriously get into a prayer, not from here, right. but from the heart. The whipping and the scourging is hard to watch mm -hmm. because it goes on so long. And I was actually literally counting the, the lashes. Yeah. I watch people in the theater in front of me, the small viewing theater, turning their faces away because they couldn't continue to look. You said something very critical there. People turn their eyes away yeah. when they see it. And what they're seeing is their own sin. And it is not wanting to deal at times with their own sin. It is that hard to look at. But this film forces you to see yourself not the way you want to see yourself, but the way God sees you. you there's no passive onlookers here. No. What part of this had the greatest effect on you? Is, is that possible to isolate a moment or a time or not? Oh, boy. I'll, I'll be honest with you. There are things that I went through I can't even talk about. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, uh, I, I felt like uh, a great presence came within me at times when we were filming. And m m this prayer that came from me was, I don't want people to see me. I just want them to see Jesus. And through that, conversions will happen. And I, that's what I wanted more than anything, that people would have a visceral effect mm -hmm. to finally make a decision whether to follow him or not. And that's the only choice. I mean, it's only it's either you do or you don't. You're for me or you're against me. Yeah. So throughout this, when people put on Christ when they go outside, it's all non-believers see. And um, you're going to have people that reject it. 
and for the most part is that, but there are others that uh, have made a living at being Christian. Mm -hmm. And this is, this, is, this is serious because they know the body of Christ. They know what that is. And for them it's even more serious. Mm -hmm. And more, more or less many of the people, uh, many of our Jewish brothers are, are terrified. And I, I hear people coming up to me all the time asking me, you know, Jim, they're Jewish. And they say, you know, some of the emails, have you read these things? This yeah. is frightening. You know, uh, I didn't kill Christ. And I said, no. The, the people standing before Christ uh, and, and Pilate during the judgment scene does not condemn an entire race for the death of Christ any more than the actions of Mussolini condemn all Italians or the heinous crimes of, of Stalin condemn all Russians. We're all culpable in the death of Christ. My sins, your sins, put them on, on that cross. And I brought, bring this up because it's very important to address because I want my Jewish brothers to see this film. I want people in my own faith that think it's anti-Semitic to see this film. And I want non-religious people to see this film. This film does not play the blame game at all. We're all culpable in the death of Christ.